you agree, Nadem? Two poor teams? Yeah, I would have to say so. I think given the positions in the leagues, in the respective leagues at this moment, it's kind of the game that you sort of expected. And interestingly, though, one of the broadcasters over here was showing the game. They said before kickoff, oh, United head into this as favourites because that let's go having such a poor season domestically. And I thought, are we forgetting something here? And I think we kind of saw that in the way that that game panned out. I thought at times that let's go look good with the crowd behind them. And you can see that, you know, they're a different beast when it comes down to the Champions League and these sort of like home ties and the importance of them. But then, you know, the game finishes 1-1 and it's a flat, flat game, especially the way United play. And you ask yourself the question, like, it's probably, it would have been probably more of a surprise, I believe, if United played well. Because as I look back, when was the last time they were sort of gaining ahead of steam and they looked really, really good, whether it was under this manager or Solskjaer before. So, you know, it's, it's one of those games. They got something from it, which they'll be very happy with. But it's nothing to say that there's a guarantee that they'll win at Old Trafford either. Because the fact is, you know, this idea of, you know, they've, got, they've, gotten a point, they've gotten the tie and then the second leg should be fine in front of 70,000 people. We've seen them lose at home. So the fact is, it's still very, very open. Frank, we discussed on yesterday's show, didn't we, the fact that if there was ever a time to play Atletico Madrid, this is it. Given their form so far this season, Manchester United made them look world-class <laughs> like in that first half, which is such an indictment, surely, on Rangnick, his tactics and the players. Yeah, I have to agree with all the all my colleagues, and uh, and and you're absolutely right. You know, I'm, I was wondering, you know, what was the plan, as Ali said, of Manchester United, and uh, I I felt that there was a plan from Atleti and from Simeone, where Lodi was the key man, in fact, on the left side, uh, because he was becoming the fifth uh, defender defensively but also uh, a, a wing uh, a left a left wing on the uh, on the offensive uh, aspect of the game and he made that difference and in fact in fact, they lost that game where they made the substitution with Lemar coming in, and Lemar didn't come back at the fifth uh, defender. And uh, and I think on on top of it, Atleti didn't uh, uh, I mean lost their their mojo in a way that they thought about fighting against the referee and the decision of the referee where they used they, they should have kept the the mind that they had you know the uh, the first 45 minutes. But you're absolutely right. Manchester United made them look good the first half where. The whole season, they were very average, I would say. And Manchester United did draw that game because of the mistakes of Atletico, not because of their talent. Because I didn't see anything good coming from uh, Manchester United. That was very an appalling uh, uh, performance today from, uh, from uh, the Red Devils. You know, there was, there was one thing that happened today that I think sums up these, bo both these sides and both these players right now. It was a free kick for Manchester United, 25 yards out. Mm -hmm. The man on the ball was Ronaldo. Number one, we were all sitting there going, why are you letting Ronaldo take it? Because he's probably going to hit the wall. <laughs> and you look at the wall, and Griezmann <laughs> is lying, sitting on his backside behind the wall. I mean, five years ago, two players who had had the football world at the feet and we're watching one of them lying behind a wall <laughs> and the other one <laughs> taking a free kick that we all knew was only going to end up, well, either one in the wall or two where it did, way high over the crossbar. I know some of the tweets we're going to get, Ali. What's that? Because I know Twitter and social media oh, will say, stay hey, up with it. Wait a minute, after PSG beat Real Madrid, you're all critical of Lionel Messi. Will you be as critical of Cristiano Ronaldo? Yes, <laughs> of, of course. Why not? We don't discriminate. <laughs> I know that people think that we have favorites or whatever, but the truth is, if you if you are Cristiano Ronaldo and and you're gesturing and posturing and the arms are going everywhere, and you have no real impact on the game other than complain about fouls or yellow yeah, cards or like yeah, free kick, yeah, free kick. Oh. yes, yes, that uh, Stevie <laughs> documented so very well. Uh, there was nothing about Cristiano Ronaldo's performance today that you can highlight and say, ah, there he is. That's why he's on the field. But, but you can say that about many of the players in Manchester United, and that's how poor the performance was, that is going to get sort of, uh, in some ways, kind of put aside because, well, it's 1-1. It's, it's okay. Right. 
I think it, 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 it puts a makeup on, on what was a very, very poor display for many of the players. Bruno Fernandez ends up having the assist on the goal. But up until that point, it was turnover after turnover. And worst of all, worse so than the turnovers, is the fact that defensively, he doesn't give you any help. In fact, he takes you, uh, makes Manchester United so disorganized defensively, he goes and gets the ball from center backs and then goes to the right and then goes to the left and appears everywhere. But defensively, he's not appearing anywhere. There's a hole there for Manchester United. They don't control the midfield. They don't control games. And mind you, this was an Atletico Madrid team who Antoine Griezmann came off the bench because he's been injured for six weeks. Yeah. Coque out injured, team captain. Gianni Carrasco, perhaps their most dangerous player down the left-hand side, out because he was suspended. All sorts of absences. Luis Suarez didn't even come on the field because he's carrying an injury as well. All sorts of absences from Atletico Madrid, and still they were far the better team and deserved more out of this game. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.